Her legacy as an athlete will be the debut of her sport at the 2014 Olympics in Russia. A victory Canadian halfpipe skier Sarah Burke fought so hard to see, but which she won't experience herself. The 29-year-old died this morning, nine days after she crashed while training in Utah. The Nationals' Ian Hennemansing has been speaking today to some of the people who knew her and knew of her considerable impact on the sport. Ian? Diana, I just got back from Sarah Burke's hometown of Squamish and spoke to one of her former teammates who said her reaction to the news today was disbelief. I really just expected to hear, you know, she's recovered. Alicia Klein says no one was tougher, more resilient than Burke. And pushing herself so hard and crash after crash after crash, but getting up and continuing on in, in her goal, you know, which was to be the best at what she was doing. And I, I, <laughs> I I'm really, it's, it's quite speechless. For, I'm speechless because it's... This is where it happened, the half pipe at Park City, Utah. Burke fell while training, and according to her publicist, the fall ruptured an artery. The loss of blood led to cardiac arrest, and despite getting CPR on the scene, she had no pulse and sustained irreversible damage to her brain due to the lack of blood and oxygen. A tragedy even crueler by its timing. Burke was the best in the world at her sport, a four times X Games champion. After years of lobbying, half-pipe skiing will make its Olympic debut in two years. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the Olympics. We're only going to get better, and I think uh, I'm really hoping to get it in there. Dominique Vallée is an Olympic snowboarder who says Burke inspired her to become an elite athlete. She lived every day of her life to the fullest with her amazing husband, Rory, and her incredible friends and family and everybody in the world. And for sure, it's a huge tragedy. She was so grounded. She was so modest. Um, that's why people were endeared to her, I think, more than anything. And that's what made her such a phenomenal, um, positive influence on people. For the ski cross team, a challenge few will ever face, the loss of a teammate who died taking part in the sport. We have athletes who are actually on the ground, uh, you know, trying to compete at the same time. I think they'll take great strength and solace knowing that Sarah would, want it, would have wanted them to compete, to be strong and, and, uh, and you know, honour her in that way. So many people tonight talking about the impact of Sarah Burke's death on her family, of course, but also on an entire sport and a generation of young women who she inspired. Diana? Thanks, Ian. And CBC Sports' Scott Russell is with us now. Scott, give us a sense of just how big Sarah Burke was in this sport and what she meant to it. Uh, she was the iconic figure in her sport, Diana. She was the best in the world at her sport. She was the outspoken champion of half-pipe skiing. Uh, she forged the way to the Olympic Games and an inclusion there. And she was the odds-on favorite in two years' time in Sochi to win the gold medal at the Olympic Games as her sport made the debut. Uh, she was the superstar of uh, half-pipe skiing. Notwithstanding the fact that her, her teammates are competitors, they know what they're up against, what is this going to do to their psyche? You know, it's a, it's a very interesting question because uh, you know that all athletes live by a credo, which is faster, higher, stronger, and they're consistently pushing the limits. Uh, but I think they accept the fact that when you pursue that kind of dream and goal, that there are always risks involved and sport by its very nature is a game of chance. And I think that Sarah Burke knew this going in. And I think as fans of sport and those who hope that sport will be exciting and exhilarating, perhaps this is something that we have to accept. All right, thanks. Scott Russell, CBC Sports. Thank you.